for this project, we are making a themed slab box. And so for this video, I'm gonna teach you how to roll out slabs using our slab roller table. Um, but I'm gonna start with what things you need in order to get started. First thing you need, you're gonna need some templates. You should have these at your table. Um, you need three templates, a four by six, a three by six, and a three and a half by three. Okay, so keep those off to the side. You're going to have to share those. There's not enough for every student to have their own. Um, so they are at your table intentionally. Um, so share those and then put them back. Then you need clay. You need a piece of canvas. These are also going to have to be shared. I do not have enough for every student to have their own at the same time. But as soon as someone is done cutting slabs, um, you are welcome to see if uh, they can. you can borrow this uh, piece of canvas. You're going to need a fettling knife. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do when we are ready to make slabs is we want to take our clay and starch the work of flattening it. If I were to take this piece of clay over to the slab table, um, I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on this clay and it's gonna crack unnecessarily. So what I wanna start by doing is I want to flatten it. In order to do this, I need my canvas at the table and I'm gonna need to throw my clay down at the table quite a few times. It is going to be loud. That is just a byproduct of this. The only thing I ask is that you don't do this over and over and over again unnecessarily. As soon as you get the clay a little bit thinner, you are ready to move on to the slab table. No need to make lots of noise. Just make the noise that you need to make in order to get the clay flatter and then move on. The piece of clay that I'm using right now is cut from the bag. You may or may not be using a piece cut from the bag. We may be using recycle. And then in that case, you're gonna wanna wedge it together, uh, make a square by taking your clay and hitting it on the table to make it into a square. So first thing I wanna do is let's talk about the technique of throwing this down at the table. So we're not just gonna aimlessly throw this down at the table. We have a goal in mind and that's to flatten and lengthen the clay. So the motion that we need to do with the clay is we need to bring it down and pull our arms back, okay? So when I throw the clay down, the motion is I pick the clay up, I throw it down and I'm pulling my arms back, okay? This is going to make sure that the clay is moving in a direction at the table but towards you at the same time. This is going to elongate the clay as well as flattening it. Okay, so going to start. Occasionally you wanna pick it up, turn it over and repeat. Notice how the square is getting larger. It's getting flatter and it's elongating slightly. This is still a little too thick in the middle. It's good at the ends, but a little too thick in the middle. So I'm just gonna throw it down maybe two or three more times. Flip it one more time. All right, so now that this is much flatter than it was before, it's a little bit larger too. I'm gonna get ready to take it over to the slab roller. Now, when we get to the slab roller, I'm gonna explain the safety first. Lots of safety involved with the slab roller. The slab roller can and will crush your fingers. If you put your, your hands in places, they should not go. When one person is using the slab roller, no one else is touching the slab roller. Okay, let's head over and roll this out. Okay, so now that I'm here at the table, let's talk about the table itself. We have uh, a top dust cover, we have the drum, and we have the wheel. This is what you turn 
in order to make the drum move forward and backward. This cover needs to be lifted up in order to begin working with the table. This cover also is not washable, and so it has a lot of clay dust in it. Try to keep it as clean as we can, but that's just the nature of a clay studio. So we don't wanna be whipping this back because it will create a cloud of dust that we are all breathing in. What we wanna do instead is we want to gently fold it back and hang it over the drum in order to get into where we're gonna place our clay. You'll also notice that I put down two pieces of canvas that are the same size. If we don't use the canvas, we have nothing for the clay to sit on that it won't stick to. This is just a piece of um, MDF wood board. And so the clay is gonna stick to this and it's gonna be a nightmare. So you absolutely need two pieces of canvas here to work with on top of the dust cover. If we were to just use the dust cover, we'd be introducing a lot more clay into this dust cover. This helps us minimize the amount of clay dust that builds up in this dust cover. So what I wanna do is I want to fold back one of the pieces of canvas that I have here. So that way I'm creating a pocket for the clay to sit in. When you walk over with your clay, you wanna be holding it like this or like this. Notice that the clay is straight up and down. This puts a lot less stress on the clay. If we instead hold it like this, we're gonna stress the clay and we're gonna crack it. So best practices is to hold your slab up and down like this. So now that I have this uh, canvas fabric here open, I've got a layer on the bottom and I have this layer on top, I'm gonna position my clay at the top of the canvas here. That's very important because as the drum roller moves, it's gonna push the clay down. We don't want the clay to go over the end of this piece of fabric here on top of the wood. So it's at the top near the drum roller. This drum roller is gonna roll this way. And then I'm gonna cover with my other piece of canvas, being careful not to kick up too much dust as I go. Smooth the canvas out so there's no uh, creases in it. And then very gently, I'm going to roll the dust cover back. So I'm ready to start rolling my clay into a slab. Very important safety information here. Before you start, make sure that no one is touching the table or leaning up against it. If you have a friend standing on the other side waiting to finish, for you to finish, and then roll their own and their hands are on the table, they are going to get hurt. We don't wanna put our hands up near the drum and we don't want any hands on the table as this rolls, okay? It is your personal responsibility to make sure that you are using this piece of equipment safely. If we cannot use it safely, we, we have to roll out all of our clay by hand. This makes it a lot faster. This is a luxury. So please be safe and use it appropriately. So now I'm ready to roll my clay out. I have it under here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, making sure that no one is standing or touching the table, I'm going to start to roll the drum roller. You will notice that there is some resistance when you reach where the clay is. It is pushing the clay and flattening it in the direction that the drum roller is rolling. So you're gonna roll until you don't feel that resistance anymore, okay? Then you're gonna roll back. Now I'm gonna flip back the dust cover. I'm gonna roll it up very gently, taking care not to whip it around because it will create a lot of dust. All right, so I'm going to pull back my fabric here and I have a slab. My clay is much thinner than it previously was, so therefore it is a larger piece of clay. You want to carry it back to your table like this, or like this. I 
know that that amount of clay is not gonna be enough for what I need, so I'm gonna quick roll out another slab. second slab should be enough for my project. I'm going to head back to my table and we'll continue to make our box. When you are finished using the slab table, make sure that you're closing it down so the next person uh, is not having to deal with any mess that you're leaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten both of my pieces of canvas out right here and I'm going to gently roll the dust cover back flat. Now, if there's a line of people behind you, you can leave it open for the next person, but if no one is waiting, I would like you to close the table down.